We are very close to the end, folks. Very close. Okie dokie. So... for that to happen. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> my quick time player suddenly quit. Whoa, okay. How do I attach it to you? How do I attach it to you? Did I do it? No. Uh. That didn't work. Uh. Space. Uh, how do I attach it to him? This is really not helpful. Attach. don't understand. Oh. Oh, 
Uh, I'm gonna die. I just did this whole speech about how fighting Wheatley was easier. That's funny. Attach these. I remember having a much easier time before. The answer is probably really obvious. <sighs> I really should just let me die, myself die. I mean, there's no way I can finish it in the time that the neurotoxin is 45 seconds. Okay. You still haven't told me where I'm supposed to attach it to him. So I'm supposed to get it up there where it's glowing. There we go. Gotta time this right. There we go. Okay. Come on. 
There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> of course it will. Fire at me. Go on. Okay. Where is it? Oh. Great. Uh, all right. Um, Ugh, that didn't work. Oh, oh, oh there's orange gel. Okay. That didn't work. There we go. Okay. What do I do? Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What are you doing? Interpreting vague answers as yes. No, 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 Please press the stalemate resolution button. Where is it? There is it. No! Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Don't press that button! I'm doing it! Wheatley again. <laughs> Hello, cooperative oh, testing initiative people. Oh, you know, being careful and taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, but all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, Lily. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me or put me in a potato. Or fed into birds. I had a pretty good life. 
and then you shoot. You dangerous, you lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. It's been fun. Don't come back. I love this ending. It's great. I think it's legitimately still terrifying. I completely thought the first time that it had been a trick and GLaDOS was just going to kill me with the turrets. Because <laughs> that would have ultimately been the easiest way to do it. <laughs> Instead, they honor me with a song. Isn't that nice? Oh, there's the turret king. Or queen. We don't know which. It's kind of weird that it's leopard printed. You'd think it'd be, I don't know, a more dignified color or something. Like, isn't purple, a royal color, I, I don't know. By the way, I apologize if you guys hear the sounds of vehicles outside. There are a lot of very, very loud vehicles going up and down the street by my house right now. Because it's uh, this thing called Jeep Safari, which they do every year in my town. It just A lot of tourists come with Jeeps and other off-road vehicles, and a lot of them make very loud noises. Here we go. Oh no, we're in a Windows desktop background! Ah! <laughs> oh, my companion cube! That means I get to keep it! Well, that was Portal 2. I love this song. Try to kill me twice. I have this song on my iPod. That's what I'm trying to know. I used to want you dead, but now I want you go. Great song. <laughs> Jonathan Colton has a bunch of really great, funny songs. Uh, like uh, Read Your Brains is a great song. And oh, there's a bunch of others. I can't remember what they are. Um, oh, Code Monkey is a good song. Yeah, I like that one. I think it's by the same guy. I apologize if you haven't heard the song and I'm talking over it, but I kind of wanted to sort of wrap up the series of me playing Portal 2. And if you want to, you can look up the song and listen to it. Um, plus, I have the subtitles on, so you can still read the song if you want while I'm talking. So anyway, um, that was me playing Portal 2. I know I didn't get everything in the game, like, by far. I never have. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game <laughs> that I don't know, like, anything about at all. But, um, it was fun to play it. This was my first venture in doing a Let's Play series, and I learned a lot doing it. And, um... I imagine I'll continue to learn as I move on to other series, including ones that I've never played before, which is what's going to happen with the next one. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite games, and I hope those of you watching along enjoyed uh, seeing me play it, and if you hadn't uh, played the game before, I hope you enjoyed watching the story and everything, and that I didn't <laughs> fuck things up too badly. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to starting my next series. I should have it out, hopefully, fairly soon. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. What's this? Oh yeah, I always forget about this. Something's <laughs> I wish I could take it all back.
I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because it's stranded in space. <laughs> I know who you are, mate. Yeah, yeah. we're both in space. <laughs> anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. The end. The end. <laughs>